New research out this morning claims to show a link between an increased risk of car crashes and legal marijuana use. The Highway Loss Data Institute looked at auto collision claims in Washington, Oregon, and Colorado. Now, those are the states where recreational use is legal. It says claims are up about 3% since marijuana sales began. Barry Peterson shows us the safety concerns and the skepticism about this study. He's at a pot dispensary in Denver. All right, Barry, good morning. Good morning. Well, three years ago, Colorado legalized marijuana for recreational use, and this study now seems to show a link between marijuana use and an increase in traffic accidents. For those who supported legalizing marijuana, I have to tell you, this study is not going to be very good news. Colorado led the nation with the first sales of legal recreational marijuana in 2014. But the drug's impact on roadway crashes has not been well documented. Today, the Highway Loss Data Institute reported an increase in insurance claims filed for collisions in Colorado, Washington, and Oregon, three states where recreational marijuana is legal. Matt in Moore Colorado, oversaw the study. At, at Colorado, just relative to the, the states around it, we're seeing an increase of almost 14 percent. But those numbers do not match what the Colorado State Patrol has tracked. Sergeant Rob Madden says the agency has actually seen a decrease in the number of driving impaired accidents since pot sales became legal. Two years of data is not enough to allow us to draw conclusions, to come up with an explanation of what is safe, what is not safe. Scientific. Lawyer Brian Vicente represents pot shops and played a major role in Colorado's legalization. Typically, you can drink one beer and drive, but if you have three, you're over the limit. States are taking a hard look to try to figure out what is that three beer limit for marijuana. There have been tragedies from mixing marijuana and driving. Last year, high school student Chad Britton was killed by a teen driver high on pot. And while pot may be legal, impaired driving is not, even though it's that much harder to detect. What we are looking for is, is the impairment that we see while speaking to the drivers. The state of Colorado and the marijuana industry together have started a campaign they call Buzzkill. This is one of the brochures. The tagline says, a DUI will ruin your high. The State Patrol says of all the people they stop for driver impairment, about 17 percent are from marijuana use. But they say connecting marijuana use to an increase in traffic accidents is a very much ongoing and, they say, very much unresolved debate. Nora? All right, Barry, thank you.